my second vlog and I haven't seen you for a week and a half but I've been filming little bits so you could enjoy this video today I'm going to talk about many many different things because it's been quite a productive week first I'm going to show you the the brown sweater I'm knitting from Icelandic wool it's nearly done and I will need um, some help maybe you can you can help me with the name and with some other things then I'm going to talk about the socks that that was a secret project and now I'm going to show you as well I'm also going to show how I made the lining for my project bag and some new purchases not yet this time yeah okay so shall we start brown sweater uh, it's knitted I've made pockets here so and yeah so I I closed that with um, a needle imitating the cast on beginning I will show you in a little video how to do it if you don't know uh, and I knitted the half of it and then I soaked it in water I wanted to see how the yarn like blooms because some of this yarn if you didn't watch the previous video uh, I unraveled the old sweater uh, I bought in a second hand shop and I bought two balls of the same color and when I knit it you can see that it's like the stitches are wiggly and not even but after washing it looks perfect uh, I decided to embroider it with the flowers it's not done yet I still have a bit to work on so I'm planning to do all the yoke with those 3d flowers uh, I link uh, I put a link to the videos that I was using for embroidery because I was doing it for the first time like this 3d embroidery these are French knots this is lazy daisy like stitch I don't know these were new to me yeah and I don't know how to call it can you suggest any name for it I thought it's very thick wool and very warm it's for like cold winter days and these flowers on a cold winter day uh, I'm not sure about the name I'm thinking and another thing I want to ask you is about the pockets see I what I did is like while I was knitting I knitted 10 stitches in a different color and then knit it on top so I went top down and then I took the yellow yarn out and I had like a slot and now I'm going to pick up those stitches and to knit down so and we'll make a pocket but the inside of the pocket here will be seen uh, what color should I use for it should I use like the same brown or should I use some other colors like it's not the gray maybe like this and I will also I'm thinking of embroidering some twigs here and maybe little little roses what do you think so it will look like this on me hmm? I'm waiting write down in the comments what you think and maybe you can suggest me what color should I use 
I could use this for the pocket inside, like gray. Um, I have, I have white and beige and sky blue, and this pink and yellow. Maybe I shouldn't play with the colors too much because it will be quite colorful here on the top, and there will be some roses at the bottom. So maybe just, just gray or just the same brown. What do you think? I like it so much. Uh, by the way, I well, when I was knitting the yoke, the round yoke, and you can see that the back is higher, so it's for better, like sitting on your body. Uh, I was filming this part because here it's the, like you have to do some finger acrobatics and how to calculate for the sweater. Uh, I was filming it, but now I'm not sure my desk is brown and the sweater is brown. So I will go through the videos and see if it's easy to see. If not, uh, I don't have a la for sloppy in any light color. I just bought two balls for the brown. But I have like um, let loppy different colors so I'll take maybe light gray and we'll knit using the same calculation so the size will be different it will be like mm, much smaller because the yarn is, is is thinner but you could get their idea I will use the same the same calculations and the same increases and the short rows for the back absolutely the same so you could use like for example on thick yarn uh, so, so much about it. And I've got a comment on the acorn sweater I showed in the last videos, you know, here with the uh, color work. And uh, you were asking how to make this pattern for the neckline or the zigzaggy line. And I will include a little video of it uh, right now. Well, this pattern consists of five stitches, so it's uh, two stitches for the zigzaggy line, then a purl, knit and slip, or slip and knit again. Uh, you can use it uh, for both, like for rows and for the round knitting, it doesn't change at all. So this is this is how you knit okay so you take the first stitch just slip it knit the second yarn over and then you pull the first one over these two purl slip Pearl. On the reverse side, you just knit according to the picture. Pearl, knit, pearl, pearl. Nice, nice pattern. I want to take you to the beautiful place where I got the inspiration for the flowers. Uh, and when I came there and saw all the beautiful flowers, it was a like cold winter day. We all had like cold winter in Europe. 
all those ranunculus and roses and I thought ah oh, that's what I need for my sweater those flowers uh, so I asked if I could come and embroider in their shop and they were very happy to have me in so I'm going to take you there and see and you can you can also enjoy the atmosphere there the music is beautiful there the ladies who work there are amazing so it was so much fun being there and listening to that like buzz like pe I didn't I didn't know that people can buy so many flowers it was like coming people coming and coming and coming and they didn't have a minute to sit and like relax it was very nice so here is my favorite flower shop Neely Blomsteriorna and we are going to look for inspiration right in there
Another thing I want to show you is my project bag. Uh, I had to make the fabric lining and to sew the zip. It was easy, but I didn't know how to do it. I had to call my mom and she was watching me on camera and I was showing what I'm doing and I was following her instructions and as you see it looks really nice uh, I had some bed sheets left so I used this fabric I thought this nice vintage look will be very beautiful for the inside what I did is I decided we decided with mom and needles to make it a bit bigger and especially wider so if you see here so it's wider right and it's a bit longer because the knitted thing the knitted part so you see it's it's, it's wider than that I like stretches quite a lot and I want it to be spacious so so that quite a big project could go in and what I also did here after sewing it on I just put it like this and there were corners so I just sewed them and cut off and this gives so much space at the bottom can you see yeah so I just have to sew it to the knitted part another project I have to show you are these socks uh, I saw those socks on YouTube uh, a Russian youtuber gave a tutorial on how to knit them uh, and I liked the idea the two things that I've changed are the heel you can see here in the photo that she's using a traditional heel that I'm not a big fan of and the cast on was a bit complicated because here this part is very stretchy and you have to Mm, have fewer stitches for this but if you have the same amount of stitches here your feet doesn't get in you can't put the sock on so I've had several ways I've tried first um, casting on looser then um, casting on more stitches and then making decreases but like if you make decreases here and then it just rolls up like this or rolls down all the decreases you make it's like it makes small bumps and I didn't like it uh, I knitted those socks by making a loose cast on but then I decided how to not decided then idea came to me how to make it like a normal cast on and how to make to decrease the stitches uh, in a different way in a different place and now I started knitting another pair it has similar colors I like this pink I guess it's because of spring but instead of using this brownish beige I'm using gray uh, and I so I'm using for the white I'm using opal color 2620 for the pink I'm also using opal color 2620 and for for the beige ones I used Lana Grossa Mylan white and the color is 1359 and this heathered gray uh, is also Lana Grossa Mylan White and it's color 02 uh, these two no this one 
this one, the gray one, has cashmere, 5%. And this is the usual. Uh, and now I will knit, finish knitting the sock and we'll check if everything is okay. And the other sock I will knit on camera filming so we could also knit it if if like around the easter time easter holidays like these socks like for me has such nice clean look you just put on tennis shoes and like they look beautiful sporty and elegant uh, and I also want to show you what I bought for myself. Uh, it's from like company NL. That's the name of the girl who makes this jewelry. It's like netting Galopetina. If you go to Facebook and type NL accessories or jewelry, it will pop out, I guess. So what I ordered is like a bracelet with a real dandelion puffs. Yeah, she puts them in herself. You can also order with amber pieces or seaside, like sand from the sea and tiny, tiny like pebbles, like smooth pebbles from the sea. Uh, and I also ordered the earrings. You can see they have also one dandelion puff inside. I think they're very nice. And today, our boss uh, gave us a gift voucher for doing a great job. So I went to town, <laughs> it smells so good, and I bought some perfume. It's called Eccentric Molecules. It says made in England, and I bought 100 milliliters. I will show you the box. My, my hand. My hand smells because I sprayed it in the shop. Eccentric molecules. It's called Zero Two. There were three bottles, but I didn't. I tried them as well, but I didn't smell anything so I guess it opens on your skin maybe uh, it smells of it smells of flowers it smells of freshness no it smells of suntan skin flowers and sun it's a very good smell I really liked it, so it will be my spring smell. If you find it in the shop, go. You can give it a try. Just spray on your on your hand. I buy perfumes very seldom because it takes me ages to choose the smell for myself. Yeah, but but this one will be one of my favorites. Uh, told about these, told about the perfume. Yeah. And uh, I also went to the sea and I also found some rocks.
Okay, there are some pebbles that found home. Can you see it's a bunny? The nose, the ears, and the body. And here is a tiny bird sitting. The beak, the head, and the chest like Robin. I guess that's all I had to tell you for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please write in your comments uh, what name would you suggest for my brown sweater with the flowers. Uh, also, uh, write down if you would love to knit a, a sweater like this and to see the calculations. Uh, and if you would like to, to knit the socks during Easter holidays, I would be very happy to have you in my knitting company and we could have a good time together. And for now, I'm saying bye bye and hope to see you soon. Bye friends.